I just woke up and um, I decided I wanted to do a quick weave today. So it's a pronto, it's a quick weave. I have braided my hair to the back. So I have did the foundation of the back of my head and I tried to make these braids as flat as possible. I got a stocking cap, okay? We're using blonde hair today, 613. Now this is how I do my prontos. We're using a 613 today. And then this is the hair. So it's called Tara hair. So basically it's short tracks like that. And then you shave them down, which I'll shave them down with this. Or you can use um, clippers or you can use um, scissors. This has become my favorite tool for flat quick weaves. I bought a little piece of hair just for the front to make it a little more heavy. Let's put that strip along that edge, okay? I've never really done this because I never really cared about it, but since my hair has been so, um, you know, I lost that edge. You know, we're still growing edge back. I'm not trusting it, so this is just a nice little trick so that the glue, because it will go through the stocking cap, okay? And I want it like exactly on my hairline. I don't need it all the way down on the forehead. But I did go out and get some white glue. So they do have white bonding glue for blonde hair, okay? Keep that in mind. I'm also gonna spray some of this around the whole cap area because I got that grease on there and I don't want it to seep through and then my tracks won't stick properly or even seep through and make the hair greasy, okay? So this will kind of help block and shield the grease, lock and load it down. I'm just gonna let this dry, guys, and then we're gonna start gluing tracks. I always start from shortest to longest, so we're gonna start with this short piece. That way you got less cutting to do, like you will have less to do with the short hair back there. You just find that hair, honey, and start unrolling it, period. So I'ma run this glue all along this track. I think the white glue come off better too, guys. It bonds, but it ain't as tough as that uh, black glue. I put it on the whole track, so therefore I don't have to uh, keep making little pieces and measuring my hair with a piece, cut it, then track it. That takes more time. It makes it goes longer. So we trying to get this done as quick as possible. It's a quick way. Now look, my honeys, I do have that lump right there. So we gotta cover that up. We're gonna have to put the tracks basically on top of each other just to get it full. So therefore that won't poke out, okay? So we're gonna try to attempt that. And y'all know I don't really have mirrors, but I set something up over here so I'd be able to see, but we are gonna try to work it out. I would start under the braid. I always do a U shape, so I like to start around. Let me make sure y'all can see. I like to start around like that. Let that dry first. So as you proceed, it won't be moving and shifting. Thank you. 
Now, once I get to this side, I cut it. I'm gonna cut it, I'm gonna grab that track. And now I'm gonna push everything in, make sure it's set. I ain't did no quick weaving so long, guys, because I've been wearing all these wigs. Whenever you get down to your the little track here, just because it don't go from ear to ear, it doesn't mean anything. You still put it somewhere. I am going to start trying to cover up that. You want to pull it tautly over it so that it is holding it down too. Once it's glued in place, it's not going anywhere. When I'm down to my last little track, if it's short like that, I put it somewhere in the middle because I want it to be fuller hanging over that lump. And I usually put it right on top of the other track or just above it. So that way, ain't no spaces. I got to fill in this gap first, at least up to right here and then I'll start bringing it here. And when you get here, you wanna go down low as, as possible so you can have a nice sideburn. So that's why the black cap, sometimes you can't even see through it to know, but I know that my hair with this cap, it ends right there. So I'll try to go like somewhere right there and then start bringing it around and back. Okay, man, so I got pretty much all of that filled in. The higher you go up, you don't need to have them as close because you don't want it too bulky in that area. This right here, we was covering up that lump, so yeah, but up in here, all this hair is about to fall back over it, so it doesn't really even matter. You don't want them too far apart because when you go to shave it and you go, eh, you're gonna see gaps because you cut all the hair off the tracks, but the closer they are, the better, but you don't need them up on each other. Look at my little eyes here. I'm gonna start with the um, second longest piece. Now, the thing about this is this. You got these inside tracks and then you got these outside tracks. The outside tracks are longer than the inside tracks. That's why with the short hair, I pulled it from the inside. You see what I'm saying? So. When you get all off up into here and you want height and you want curls and you want this and that, you would start taking it from the outside because it is longer than the inside. But I ain't up there yet, so I'm still taking it from the inside, which is longer than the short pieces that we have been using. So it's still going to serve some justice for me to just put it on these sideburns and then go along the back and it won't be too long and it won't be too short for the sideburn. Now 
Now, when I had a little piece left, I just go in and fill in either side. It doesn't matter. So, you want to make sure that these side tracks are close to as possible. Just like we did on the neck. Because if not, they will show through. And you would see track and uh, black cap and all that extra stuff if that's what you're working with. You want it to be full looking. So my honey, you see how we got this slant going here? So we want to get this slant going straight back, okay? But now that we have this sideburn filled in, it is pretty thick because we put them tracks on top of each other. We can now start to make these tracks come back, straight back. So that dot right there is going to be indicating where I would start that. So it's not going to be slanted right down here. It's going to go up a little bit. So now we can start going straight. Now I'm gonna bust that little track down in it too so I could get this pretty much straight like I want it. You see, now I feel like we could just start going straight back all the way around type of thing. It's building, guys. It's building. You gotta take your time with things like this. It's not really a rush. Especially when you're trying to figure it out. And remember, guys, you lay that track, it doesn't lay you. So, <laughs> you gonna make that style, it ain't gonna make you, okay? If you gotta put a bunch of little baby tracks over here just to make something shake for right here, that's fine. Do what you gotta do. There's no real science to it. It's just flat out, you know, you are repetitively going ear to ear, ear to ear, ear to ear. Some stuff may not line up. This side is higher than this side. I could go ahead and cut little pieces to match it if I really wanted to. You see what I'm saying? So I can do that, but I'm going to go ahead and knock some of that. That's probably what I do just for my honeys. Let me show y'all. So this is how much I have used out of this track, okay? And I am gonna cut it, so. We're not doing the whole track at this point because at this point we're organizing our foundation. That is higher than that. Excuse my eye for tearing. You know, you just wake up, all them fluids coming out that eye, <laughs> okay? But, I'm gonna do the same thing over here. I'm gonna start putting them straight instead of slanting them downwards. And boom. It don't matter how many tracks it would take me to, to make this straight like I'm explaining, okay? It doesn't matter how many you use. If this wasn't enough, you better believe I'm going to go in and get some more. Put some glue on another track and get it to where I need it. I want it straight, not slanted. Then you guys know I'm doing this on my own head, so... It does take me a little more time. Okay, so that's straight now, it's not slanted anymore. Now we can proceed to go ear to ear again, okay? Just to at least get it to where it's one whole track going around versus just these little pieces. If I have any excess glue on these ends because you don't want a big bulk of glue, okay? You really want a nice, good, thin layer, but you also want something that's going to stick. And I kind of look at it and see if it's too much in one spot, I wipe some of that off, and then I throw it on the back of my hands. By the time I'm done with a quick weave, guys, my whole back of hand be filled with glue <laughs> because I don't want that much glue on that area.
Now we have trackage, okay? We're going all the way around. All the way around. So we build it up to where we needed and wanted it. And then now we made it to where it's a whole one thing going. So at this point, when you have a little track, use it. <laughs> don't think you don't need it. So which side is higher? That could be a way to determine. Make it all even. You want it to be neat. So I feel like at this point, we got a good foundation going along this back. Now is the time to just start um, going in your circle, okay? Because when you start building your circle, with this hair all the way back here like this, it's going to fill it in up there, but also it's going to be filling in up here. Your circle piece, when you're done, would be somewhere up in here instead of um, down here. You don't want it down here. You want it back here somewhere, exactly in the middle somewhere, however. But this determines where it will land. We're going to start with the uh, long pieces now. Because you really could just glue this hair in and go, guys. Like, glue it in, maybe shave it a little bit so it don't be too bulky and all that. And then go. <coughs> but we're trying to style it. We're trying to do something different. And now, at this point, I want to build this up. Okay, so I'm going to always start my tracks coming along the front, going around, going around. You know, I got the, the whole track ready, set, go. You never want to just start from here to here. You want to curve it in. This way it's going to blend with the tracks underneath it. I'm going right on top of that paper. Because at this point, we know that's exactly where my hairline is at. If I go below it, I'm gluing on my forehead. So, we don't want that. It's kind of more blended around in there instead of just... Because we already know the more hair that you put over a track, the better it's going to cover it. a couple different times just so therefore it's full right there it's not thin and you kind of want these tracks close too guys because if they're spaced out and when you go to curl on it um you're going to see those tracks Now I'm gonna take another big track from the back and we're gonna start here and then we're gonna start wrapping around. So every time you start a new track for your wrap around, then you will always start in the front over on these areas, okay? Cause we want this blended with the side burn, so. And we want more hair off and on the front side here than we do back here. So when it's all said and done and we get enough going on, then we could just start closing it up. This is basically how you would lay tracks for a style in general, guys. It doesn't have to be, you know, a flat quick weave and all of that stuff. It's just, um, this is the science of it, my science of it, of how laying a track goes anyway, because at the end of the day, you do want to cover up other tracks with the track, okay? And we know that this is this ain't covered up because there's nothing over it. But could you see any track down here? No, because the weight of the hair is going to hang over it anyway. So don't worry about how it looks, okay? By the time you get to this circle piece and it's all closed up, everything will look just like that. We're going to be doing that 
tedious process over and over and over until we get a closure, okay? And at this point, we have this closed in. Now you're starting to see what I'm saying. You cannot see tracks off in there because we build it way over it. Okay, that's what we were doing, building way over this part. The front ones will be kind of closer up on each other. The back ones, not so much, but you don't want this all the way up here. And then you're still down here with this because then your circle piece is going to be too far down. You want your closure to stick at the top of your head so that way you have more styling space for the front. It's real tricky, guys, when you got blind tracks, okay? Ain't no cover-up to that. So you really have to make sure that these certain areas is right. Because if I wanted to swoop this hair back, it's so cute and gorgeously like that. It already got the layers in it and everything. And if I wanted to do something like that, I could do that. Because and nothing would show and seep out. That's what we're trying to do is hide tracks underneath tracks. That's it, okay? Let the hair do the work and lay over it. But... We're gonna start here, keep going, boom, boom, all the way till we get to the top, guys. And here I go, forgetting about my little piece, okay? So we do want some hair that we can have here. We are still at the beginning, guys. We ain't went nowhere, for real, okay? That's the beginning, and we're only right there. So we got a ways to go, but we still will want some hair to be hanging down and curled and do all that, too. So this will probably just be curled and go up However, we just gonna add a little simple track here. And then, in so many spots, we're just gonna be adding it. Um, just to give us some length and maybe even fullness because this hair is way thicker than the short pieces. So it'll kinda help with the fullness. They sell them little rolls of hair too for like $3. This other hair was... $12.99. So, yeah, that's what, $15 style for me, okay? And then you pay somebody to put it in or whatever. That's about a, what, $65 hairdo. So, less than 100 And the glue was a dollar. And the glue dries clear. So it's not like we're going to see glue anywhere. Now, when you get to your circle piece, honey, you literally got to wrap it, wrap it, wrap it into a circle. So, we have reached the closure, okay? I don't do the whole roll thing. I manually do mine. Um, it would probably be more convenient to do the roll thing if you do not know how to do the actual closure, but if you're gonna go for it and try to do this way, you have to put those tracks as close as possible. Close your closure up, close your circle up, but make sure they're close as possible, almost on top of each other. Cause that can make or break your style too. So I'm getting to that nitty gritty. It's just gonna keep getting smaller and smaller. I'm gonna show y'all how petty it get. Is when I wanna start, I'm gonna keep going, but I'm gonna, I'm gonna put them, let me see if y'all can see. I'm gonna keep going, but I'm gonna put them all on top of each other. I think that's closed up. So, I'm gonna cut it right where that track stop at. And then I'm going to push it down with the scissor. <clears throat> yeah. 
push it down with my finger. And there you have it, honey. Okay, my honeys, now we're going to cut off this excess cap. The minute you cut it, it gets the loosening. But the fact that it's glued down, it ain't going nowhere. Come to the ear, y'all know I got it over the ear, so I'm not even gonna cut it that far because I'm just gonna cut it enough and then tuck the ear in. So we really just wanna get around that neck. I like to hold my circle piece and comb everything accordingly. Like a dude with waves, how he was just combing in it in his own. Now you take your little blade comb, okay? They got uh, blades, extra blades that come with these or that you can buy separately, they're a dollar. And it come with like a hundred in a pack. So, um, cause these go door pretty fast. I don't have no extra ones. I got the lighting low, guys, so you can see the blind. So I look super dark, but we only trying to see what's up with this hairdo. Now, as I'm picking it up, I'm feeling the thickness of it. So, okay, I say, okay, that's pretty thick. Let me get it. And I like to start around the neck part because that's the part that's going to be noticed and flat and that foundation needs to be right. Take a comb and make a style out of it. 
We really need to do, you want to do this process before, I usually use clippers too, guys, but ever since I got hip to this, that's it for me. So you usually will do this before you even go in, cutting it and lining this up or whatever you want to do, okay? So you cut it down, make sure it's a flat foundation, and then you go in and do the extras. Okay, my honey, so now we got to get rid of these long pieces. I did this side. So it's all kind of choppy and even, that's fine. All I did was take it all together. I took some of this too, so we could have a length wise. Take it all together and just go in. Head in all angles, cause y'all know my thing, this door. It's spiking already on its own. That's what we want. Cause we gonna go in and try to curl that. Okay, my honeys, I just got some eco style. Okay, you can use mousse, whatever you wanna use, but I use two cones for my waves. It's gonna be nothing major. It's just gonna be this section on the edge for real. I'm not gonna go all back on it, but I like to use a skinny comb to comb it out and then I use this comb to hold it. I'm gonna take the back of this comb and I'm gonna scoop out some gel and then I'm gonna yank, 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 yank. Just on the areas I want. I'm gonna wipe off the excess and then I'm gonna comb it through. all the way down. Okay, my honey, so I am just curling now. I use a skinny curler. This is from Con Air, because that's all I got. And then I got my rat tail comb. So y'all tell me how that look. I'm trying to curl it and make it look like a, a wave. So if I accomplished it, let me know. Y'all know I'm working with bare minerals on the mirror, okay? I don't have a real eyesight, but when it comes down to it, I separated this part off because I want that to come over and be the fullness. But when it comes to the back flat part, I feel like... Okay, so... I'm trying to blend it with that and then smash it. Then it'll give an illusion of a wave, okay? It's just a curl.
Okay, my honey, so the tighter the curl, the smaller the section, the better outcome, okay? So we're gonna do these curls all over the top at this point, and then I'm gonna go in with my fingers, no combs, and then I'm gonna pull the curls apart and style it accordingly and make it all match. 